Welcome back. This is video two of how to set up Drupal from scratch. And so far, we've downloaded Drupal, unzipped it on our computer, uploaded it back to uh, my website, and we logged into the cPanel on RickyExperts.com, which is the new site I'm installing Drupal on. And I created a new database called Drupal, and I created a new user called Drupal. Now. You need to understand that when you put a new Drupal name, like I just set up, I, I put Drupal as a username and Drupal as a database name, but the actual name is Reiki EXP underscore Drupal. So this is the actual name that I would be needing. So just make sure that when you need to specify the names on the installer, you don't put Drupal, rather you put the whole name. So one last step over here. Once you've created a database and you created a user, you need to add the user to database. This only means that you are giving access or you're giving privileges to this user to make changes to the database. And you need to have at least one user for every database that you have. And the privileges I would give are all privileges. So make sure that you add your user to your database and give all privileges, make changes. Okay, it has been done. So that's all I need to do, three steps. Step one, create a new database. Step two, create a new user. And step three, add user to database. Once you've done this, you don't need to be on the screen anymore. And I will just go back and look at my upload. All right, the upload is complete. It takes a couple of minutes. So now we can go to your website. It's reikiexperts.com and hit enter so drupal says install drupal in english and of course i wanted to install it in english now this red warning message here it just means that i need to create a settings.php file and also need to create a folder called files in the default folder so if you go to your uh, WSFTP or FTP client, go into sites and default. And this is what I do, it's very convenient. I just rename the default dot settings or PHP files to settings or PHP. Then I go to settings, sorry, the site default folder on my computer. And I upload the default settings or PHP file to this folder. So now I have both the files that I need and I would click new folder to create a new folder called files all right now you need to change permissions on these two files so click settings of php press the control button and press and click on files right click your mouse click on properties and put 777 in this box that says numeric value and click ok all right once this has been done go back to drupal Hit refresh on that page and here we go now it wants us to specify the database name now remember the database name was Drupal but the actual database name was Reiki exp underscore Drupal so that's what I got to enter over here uh, the password the test password that I created now click on save and continue and if everything goes fine okay like it did not go fine this time okay it should make you need to make sure that your password is correct so maybe i entered the wrong password again sorry about that all right so this time i entered the correct password and it says all necessary changes have been made so now i have to go back into my ftp software right click on settings.php click on properties and change it back to 644 and now i can go back and provide information about my site so i'm going to pause this video here and i'm going to start a new video that shows you how to configure your site so stay tuned for the next video.